Yes, hi. I have a question about your inflatable saxophones. Do those come in different sizes? I'm going to need about 40 dozen of those. Also, what about your neon gangster fedora hats? Um, that was rude. Whatever's going on here, stop it immediately. I was just talking on the phone. To whom? It was personal. I would never make a work-related call, you know that. Hey, Ron, how's the street parking at your house? What? Can you handle, like, 20 cars or a double-decker party bus? There is no street parking at my house. My house is not even on a street. Do you have space for, like, a huge circus tent? Hey, Ron, have you seen the... What the hell? No! Oh! Well, looks like there won't be any balloons for the birthday boy. These were for a sick child at the hospital. Ah, uh, my office now. I don't work for you. Don't care. I'm only gonna ask you this once. What is going on with my birthday? Oh my God, Ron, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Shut your damn mouth. It's a fun conversation. Just tell me what Leslie is planning. Honestly, I, I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Why don't you tell me what she did for your last birthday? Oh, well, that was intense. She totally surprised me. She kidnapped me from work, and then she took me to that place in your Vegas, you know, where the mariachi band comes out, they put a big sombrero on you, and then everybody sings happy birthday. Damn it. And then we went back to my house, and she invited basically everyone I knew, and she had this great guy doing face painting, and I had my face painted like a fairy tiger. Ugh. Also, she did it like a week before my birthday, which is genius, because I had no idea it was coming. And then there was a bouncy castle. Did you know they made those for adults? Mm -hmm. Morning, Ron. Ooh, dude, you forgot to put a shirt on. I do it all the time, it's fine. I slept here. Sweet. So, a uh, little birdie told me it's your birthday coming up. How about a free birthday shoe shine? What did this little birdie tell you is going to happen for my birthday? Oh, nice try, Ron. You're not getting anything out of me. Andrew, please. Ron, look, I love you like a father who's not that much older than me, like a young uncle. Or like, uh, you're my camp counselor. But we're adults, so we hang out and it's not weird. you know. Or actually, here's what it is. You're my lacrosse coach. I get it, I get it. What's the point? Well, coach, Leslie swore me to secrecy, so I can't say anything. I owe her so much, I can't ruin it for her. Well, I respect that. Mm -hmm. See you later. OK, not if I see you first, Uncle Ron. <laughs> and I probably will, because Leslie assigned me to the kidnap squad. Hey, did you hear the news? Ben and Chris want us to go into conference room C for a meeting. Let's get this over with. Happy birthday, Ron. Anne said you had a big party. Sombreros, karaoke. Yeah, I did that for Anne. Why would I throw Ron Swanson and Ann Perkins' party? What about the giant list of things April was doing? That was just a list of ways to mess with you. She do them all? She did indeed. So, I have rented Bridge on the River Kwai and the Dirty Dozen. Artie from security is outside the door, so no one will bother you. And a cab will be here whenever you're ready to take you home. Thank you. Do you remember what you said to me five years ago when Eagleton offered me that job and I asked you for your advice? Uh, do whatever the hell you want. What do I care? Right, but then after when I pressed you, what did you say? I believe I said that I thought we worked well together and that I might disagree with your philosophy, but I respected you. And I said that you'll get a lot of job offers in your life, but you only have one hometown. Yes, that's how I remember it. This, by the way, is a one-time only situation. Next year, your birthday party is gonna be a rager.